MMTs, I'm going to present to you that in the MMT division we're going to be adding the TNH again reiterating it TNH it's a fertilizer stock and it basically is in this sector right here and 7.77 how about that that was the uh, trading range on it and we've already covered CF so these are the two right now moving forward that will be on of course you know we're always looking at these other names but our big important one is right here what I'm going to show you here is how we have made a 2008 top on TNH it's a weekly top so the daily and the weekly both hit their tops in price action and we're approaching a major major area of resistance MMTs one of the conclusionary factors that you will want to be aware of is we're approaching in the public model and the way that those high frequency volume machines work is 91.12 percent DS we have a uh, 10 week moving average right here that has been rising and as it rises these big breakouts have happened all last week and coming up off the bottom of these trend lines that I have drawn here is where you can clearly see it and it's a standard chart and we're also approaching on this particular reading right here this is called the uh, MACD it's 13.8 within the breakout cycle at these highs here okay so we are going to carefully monitor where there would be a weekly breakout at this resistance level that happened we were used to short this back in 2008 now and the price action ranges whether you're taking breakouts or you're taking major reversals like this at times uh, or reversals like over here this is where the bottom was doesn't matter what matters right now is how you're going to apply your trade management MMTs and what is behind all of that and we'll be doing a lot of that off the video naturally so one of the things that I will emphasize on TNH in our SMF platform I'm going to go over here right now and I'm going to price this out here we go bam that's being done okay now that that's being done let's see what happens it's all priced at every single line out for us let's go ahead and hit the diamonds oh look at those gauges popping that's just like on a three minute level during the day wow look at them go isn't that something boy you want to see a long price action wick right to that teeny line at 130 all the way back up here that's a $25 uh, look at that look at this here MMTs look at this I'm going to populate the info panel. The low was 129.54 and then it shot up to 160.88. Right down here, MMT. That's a $30 wick. That's a $30 intraday wick to the diamond. Half bar was 147 look at that wick come right back over here to these in this is the SMF platform it program trades all of this out before they even do anything rather robots or people it doesn't matter what matters is that that big ass wick and what matters is everything in your platform would have went crazy a going up in value and that interday range would have been on a hundred like that just like you see that there the rest of it isn't populating but when that happened BAM there it is and they happen that's what it looks like in your SMF market maker platform everything was going exactly how the platform would be going in daily price movement bottom up bottom up there are some shorts in here now and remember each one of these are half delta lines and they're four dollars and fifteen cents per line for Monday here's the weekly again and you can see the bottom up in these weekly moves here 
Look at the 2008 top reversal. And percent DS at that time, over here on the high end, it was at 57, but it was peaking over here at levels of 81. Right now, we're up here at 91.12, and it will be on our high short alert list because at some point in time, we're going to get a reversal in these kind of markets, and we're short term going into an overbought zone and an overbought zone can stay elevated for a period of time just like oversold levels and it's on a weekly chart what we will use though MMTs is we'll use our platform on this daily level and not only that we'll do a 60 minute chart which I just populated in our platform and on during the actual trading day now I'm going to go ahead and populate let's populate isn't this nice does all the work for me bam bam that's off of there all the lines are drawn let's hit the diamond alert these are the 60 minute bars in TNH and you've got different type of 60 minute price action bars meaning that they're up at the high of the ratios and they're going to continue to go higher in price action okay on a 60 minute level and then you get up here and you get the contractions back down to these uh, and each one of these are two dollars and eight cents on Monday but the thing about it is it's where you start to see the 60 minute reversals like this and if I don't let's go under the hood here MMT if I don't close back above here that's 169.04 on the 60 minute half bar right here and the high uh, was 171.15 but we're closing below this uh, 60 minute half bar this one over here is 170.84 that's going to be resistance number two half bar and this resistance number one half bar on a 60 is 169.04 and it populates everything for you MMTs and the thing about it is minus 1.40 ratio that's a dollar 40 below the previous half bar this is where we start to look for weaknesses okay and we do so let's take a look at what weakness would look like in a close-up right here here is uh, this bar 169.04 and it's very clear MMT the second resistance level MMT is 170.84. So if I travel up there, just like, let me give you an example, just like that wick, and I slide down, and just like that wick, here's the example. You can get a wick right up there, but you don't close above it, and it stays below it. You need to see where the sellers are coming back in with these red bars right away. It just can't be one, and you bounce back up. If you close above it, it's very strong. So you know we'll use some of the guidances here as to what the strength of the actual top is going to be that's that's going to be your weekly there and once again what I'm going to do is I'm going to get involved just in this piece of it right here and I'm really going to get down with it right here in your platform this is where the top was on a 60 minute level to your teeny line reversal then it starts down and it breaks below this half bar at 170.84 then over here in your info panel it's closing a dollar 1.40 negative ratio negative ratio closing below is where the beginning phase of the weakness in price action starts to occur so that's on the finer macro level and what we are going to monitor is just this particular half bar right here and this half bar right here is 166.60 you'll notice that the low of this bar right here was 166.58 that's half of that 60 minute bar and look at that bounce in price action because that's what it did right over here and I wanted just to kind of blow that part of it up for you now let's go back over here there we are 
that's this bar right here you need to know it 16660 that wick that bottom low wick MMT let's get this bottom low end wick was 16658 right here this is the key support level and that's where you bounced my friend at that price level right there you bounced from 16658 to the high so it went from top all the way down but it went back to the bottom up the high of that bar so you know was 171.5 okay that's the high here and that's the major price action support level MMT and welcome to using that 60 minute chart um, once again this is a major uh, uh, thing that we're going to be looking at for quite a while no matter what and uh, we're just going to stay on the names that have the biggest reversals that are going to happen TNH CF both had weekly breakouts this way MMT in a standard chart you can see them both once again, the recap on CF percent TS is 79.15. The uh, one on this chart here, which I just wanted to look at something, is 91.12. That's the differences between the two. They're both related to the sector and they're on the high short list. This is the tops. Both look the same this one here they're both at their resistance levels look and when they blow out you can put a blow off top in price action you take it up long but then you'd be looking for that short because at some point they're going to contract and with the high volatility in the current market it could happen very quickly and you can see the CF here and you can also see this right here price actions are going to have price action reversals at some point there it is look at them now look at them see them put them on there they're great shorts forward-looking 